Chico, we are joined by the amazing ba, ba, ba. genius, musical genius, let me say, the Luchi. Yo, 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 yo. How hey. are you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. I'm hungry though. You guys have not given me food. Let me tell you the truth. You are bad people. Uh. <laughs> As we soon, someday soon, we are, we'll try to do better. That has be, to be good. Be, be better people, man. We will be better people. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh-huh. Uh, we out here. We are, we are outside. <laughs> we, we are outside. Yeah. We are outside. We are outside. You know, outside. I was very excited to do this interview because I'm like, you know, you're one of those people who you're like, you have access, but you do, we don't really have access. It's like the mm. illusion of access to an artist. There's nothing that bombards me more than that. <laughs> and you've created like your persona, even in the media. Everybody knows the Luchi, but you don't really know the Luchi. It's like, mm. that's so cool. Um, so basically, my first question is going to be, what exactly does the Luchi mean? Because I tried to Google the word the luchi like uh-huh. luchi uh-huh. and i'm not sure if what it gave me Found is food what, yeah of course <laughs> and it, that made me happy but i'd like to know what exactly <laughs> were you going for when you chose the luchi um the luchi is just the luchi it's not anything uh-huh. like um so so many people uh-huh. uh, want to 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 always have a meaning for something uh-huh. we don't we we, we guesswork and we liked the sound of that and we searched to see if uh-huh. we search that the luchi anything will come up nothing came up ah this is a good name because the only person yeah. in my life who has who we've called the luchi who we, we have called luchi was a guy called lucas not <laughs> only because he was cheeky yeah luchi is there but the luchi is not yeah the luchi there is what only one yes the luchi this one yes this <laughs> one and so you have you have Again, let me go back to saying I really love the illu- the fact that people have the, there's the illusion of access to you, mm-hmm. and you are a person who has worked with teams, and and a team of ten to fifteen people, and everybody has had stories like you've been on various interviews and you have talked about the fact that you have had a team, but then I'd like to know you're also an artist. Mm-hmm. Um, how are you able to support a team of 10 to 15 people? Because everybody knows you have a team. Mm-hmm. But how are you able to keep the team? Money. 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 <laughs> so, uh-huh. uh, I'm, I'm able to put together, uh, to work with the team because, first of all, in my other life, mm-hmm. uh, I run serious businesses and all this couldn't have succeeded without a business, uh, a team. So, uh, this is not only an art, it's a business also. I'm looking to make money. <laughs> so, <laughs> so because of that, I, I, I know the importance of working with people because mm-hmm. I'm pretty good at my creativity, but there's always people there to also source it up, you get, and make mm-hmm. it now better. Probably me and my creativity are average, and then when these other guys come, and then they add that extra, extra thing. So... Working with the team is very important, especially for musicians. I'm sure you've worked with, you've dealt with musicians here where they're the one you contact, they're the ones who can mm. and, and sometimes they don't have time to now be creative. So I want to be creative and just give direction on what needs to, to be directed. Other things, there are people who take care, like mm. the styling, uh, you have met Rugi here. Yeah, I will love you her. see, there is so many people who are involved to make this a success, and they believe you get these mm-hmm. are people who love art first because the Luchi is is really art. So the people who work with us mm-hmm. are people who first most mostly ra- li- really love art. Mm-hmm. They appreciate art. That's why we are trying because this time this thing is an experiment. You get mm-hmm. we did not know if it was gonna work. And we are happy that guys like you are appreciating and telling us this thing is good. So we get morale to keep keep going. You get. Yeah. So the people who work with us really love art and really believe in Kenyan music and Kenyan art. Mm-hmm. And and I love the fact that I just see Kenya when I'm inside this place. Because whoever knows me in person knows I really love and support Kenyan stuff and especially music because most of our musicians are put down every day online and I hate yeah. that. Mm-hmm. 
You yeah. get so anybody who is is trying to push for Kenyan music to get get where it's supposed to be is somebody who needs to be protected because being a musician is not easy <laughs> yeah. first of all and then the us Kenyans make it even harder for these people we just hate on them every day you get yeah. and uh, yeah anyway i have a good team i have a good team and it's very important the fact that you know me is because everybody is doing their job to make mm -hmm. sure that you know this this guy called the luchi yes yeah and so um you mentioned that you guys when you started this it was an experiment you didn't know that it would work out yeah. and i want to ask because that like sometimes you go for an interview and you're it's like i am the luchi and the next day it's like the luchi is a team so i want to ask you guys not knowing if this would work out did you deciding to mask yourself be like was it kind of like this could be a fallback if this doesn't work out you can just pull out <laughs> Not, <laughs> not really. Uh -huh. It's also try just trying to be creative. You get mm -hmm. uh, many people want to be famous, yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's not bad to want to be famous. But there's so many ways of being famous. Yeah. Because remember, you have to stand out. Yeah. Uh, it is so nice for you guys to know this mask. And tomorrow I'll meet you, and you will never know it's me. It's so nice. And then you'll be telling me the way that song which is playing, which is my song, yeah. is dope and you love it. It feels good and you experience that every day. You get, we go somewhere and tell, hey, have you met this artist? This is the next big thing and you're there. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's me. Yeah, there's, there's so many ways of being famous and people just concentrate on selling their face. Sometimes sell an idea. Mm -hmm. And the Luchi is an idea like this mask is, is what's important. It's not me or rugi or anybody this mask is the most important and it stands out anyway mm -hmm. if you go to an event and two artists are brought out the luchi and some other guy you will first notice me and if i am equally talented you will think i am better than this guy so it's also just a branding thing yeah. uh, we have very educated people in the team so they understand branding properly yeah so also guys being educated in the team helps in us to to make sure this thing works it's not easy also as, as i speak mm -hmm. i'm not trying to say it's easy it's very tough when because you know some of us have connections which we can't use because yeah. we wouldn't we don't want to to give out our, our identity so mm -hmm. we, we can't use some connections which we think will help us yeah. so it's it has its ups and downs but uh, you know risky things when they work they work really big I yeah. think the Luchi uh, released a proper hit song today. Probably the Luchi will be the biggest artist for the next few years. The Luchi is going to be the biggest yes. artist so, for sure. Like there's no way, two ways around it. Yes. The moment we have that one, just wait. <laughs> just wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey, yo, and so guys, I want you guys to listen to um, the run. And while we're on the music break, just run to, to YouTube because this guy, is, he, he is basically the creative director for most of his videos. I just want you guys to go and pick that. I love you, come back. And then we're going to pick his mind because, bro, how are you this creative and smart and you can do all of these things in the music world without revealing your, your identity? It's crazy to me. Run, run, everybody dance. Me, me, me come, take it, take it, RJ. Boss, me, me come, be, 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 be
back and you should probably be back i hope you guys have gone and checked out the video for run because i don't know what when you put together creative genius this guy is also um a creative director you add production you add vocals you get the luchi a full package and i have seen that you leverage like from listening to your music i feel like you leverage three things there's the good beat a good beat um you understand your audience and then there's there's like the certain words you understand you pick and choose your words very i don't know it, you're very creative in terms of the words that you pick and then you have also leveraged a uh, an industry that people think is falling but really isn't and so i want to know like is it is that strategy to it is it just raw talent that you put into it what is it uh 
Uh, talent, yes, is there, but Deluchi is not like the most talented guy in, in, in Kenya. Like Deluchi as an artist also appreciates some other dope. We have so many dope guys, especially guys coming up in the past two years. Mm -hmm. Some crazy ass people. Yeah. Uh, we do a lot of research, like crazy research, mm -hmm. crazy, crazy, crazy. If if you, you, you go to the mountains and pray yeah. <laughs> and end up knowing me in person and then you, f you go and look at my YouTube and what mm -hmm. I look at, it's some crazy, crazy things. So there's a lot of research involved. And remember, there's so many people in the team. So everybody always researches and sends links for mm -hmm. us to see what other people are doing and then how now we can Kenyanize it because again the luchi doesn't do anything out of this world we just try to to make sure whatever we do however dope it is mm -hmm. it is relatable to the kenyan and probably that's what will maybe make us stand out we do something that looks international mm -hmm. but it's still kenyan you get because yeah. that's the only way we are going to stand out in this very saturated market you know Tanzanians are all over the place, Nigerians are all over the place, South Africans are all over the place. We have to really bring out the Kenyan. Because the only thing that most of these people cannot beat us at mm -hmm. is being Kenyan. That's true. They cannot be more Kenyan than Nobody us. Nobody can take it away So the problem Kenya. with, and uh, I don't want to bash Kenyan artists, but sometimes when I listen to our music, I hear people trying to be Americans Mm. You, get, you cannot stand out trying to be American. It's it's very hard. It's not impossible, but it's I very hard. hard. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to being Kenyan, it will be the easiest thing you'll be doing. Mm -hmm. Nobody, Banner Boy cannot beat you at being Kenyan. So you have to now look for your Kenyanness, how unique you can be in your Kenyanness, and then we stand a chance with these guys. You get yeah of course we cannot ignore the fact that these guys are doing great things i'm not a hater of of nigerian music or african music but mm -hmm. i also realize we need to push our people as number one and then anybody as number two and mm -hmm. even as we push our people's number one we learn from the guys who we know are doing it good which is nigerians and tanzanians south africans are doing good so we learn from them but mm -hmm. don't try to be them yeah because that's what i see people are really working but they are end up looking like those guys. So in terms of sound, in terms of the music, the, the music, the way it sounds, the, the music videos, it, it sounds like those guys. And then now we are in the same playlist with those guys. We cannot beat them. Because yeah, I've been thinking about, so um, everybody else, like the Tanzanians and even the Nigerians, even the South Africans, have succeeded and have broken into other markets by just being themselves. Yes. It's not them trying to be... Come on, look at Kelly Roland learning Nigerian words. Yeah. We have just seen people hopping on Afro beats and yeah. trying to like pronounce words how a Nigerian would. Yeah. So I want to ask because you're very you are very much about the Kenyan the Kenyan brand. Mm -hmm. I want to ask what do you feel like what do you feel like it is that makes Kenyans not feel like they can succeed at just being themselves. What is it that takes us away from being authentically Kenyan? Because they have not seen many successful people in mm -hmm. music doing it at that level. Most of us have just seen maybe Sauti Sol, Pekeake. Yeah. Most of us, Sauti Sol, maybe Nyash, and Calligraph is also really pushing, mm -hmm. but they have not seen a lot. A Nigerian now who is in high school has seen Wizkid, Banner Boy, Dibanj, P-Square, They've seen so many people, yeah. and for, for my generation, because I am I'm very old, mm -hmm. most of us grew up with most of the time. It was just, we grew up to listening to a lot of dancehall music, mm -hmm. you get. Uh, actually, no, that's an excuse, because when I was growing up, people like Joe Akali were killing it, yeah. bigger than all these other guys who are running the airs right now. People like Joe Akali, uh, the unit. Those are people who did it big, but uh, I don't know. I think our media mm -hmm. played a big role yeah. uh, because from psychology, if 
if I, I respect you, probably anything you say, I look at it as the truth. Mm -hmm. So when our media force, the, there's a generation maybe, I say, we're 20 years now, 24. Our say, we grow up is here some type of music now the person they respect who is that radio presenter when they say this is the biggest tune mm -hmm. according to them and that's a psychological thing yeah. in psychology when somebody you respect says something you respect that thing mm -hmm. and for a long time most of these guys have grown up being told this is the the dopest thing and that was the nigerian sound so now those people don't hate kenyan music just because they hate it it's because they believe it is inferior you get so it's up to the people like you guys to change that by showing them that this is the cool stuff from kenya you get because mm -hmm. nigerians are really good at doing that in their country yeah. those who have been to nigeria know they play very little foreign music they play it but very little they have a like they have there's a 70 percent law like you have to play 70% yeah. of local music. And I want to ask you, do you feel like that will work in Kenya? Because there's, I think, I think we had the only Rosa here on Tuesday. And I was saying, I feel like everybody is talking about the problem and the solutions, but not who is doing it. And so I want to ask, do you feel like the 70% rule will work in Kenya? Yeah. For real? See, uh -huh. uh, so this all this is always the argument that the fans are the ones who want these songs. No, I mm -hmm, I so guess. that is always the argument. Mm -hmm. But again, anybody who knows uh, not just little psychology knows the kid will will gravitate towards what they have been fed. Mm -hmm. We are like that. You get if we have we are we have assured that having an American accent is the best thing many people will start having the american accent mm -hmm. you get yeah. for a long time we were trying to speak like americans now everybody's trying to speak like nigerians because we're being sure that that is the coolest thing mm -hmm. you get so it is how we how we bring up our fans mm -hmm. as and this is for mm -hmm. people on radio media like most of our influencers remember if even just a, a normal influencer, Kenyan influencer, is, is speaking about uh, Banner Boy's new album is really dope, blah, blah, blah. I wish Saudi Soul could get to this level. There are people who are the fans of this person who will believe it. And then they'll start comparing and showing us how Saudi Soul is not on this level. Yeah. You get. But if we had people saying, hey, Banner Boy is good. Saudi Soul also, you get, you don't have to put uh, the other guys down just because mm. we are talking for, for Kenyan music. But always, anytime they're comparing, our artists are the ones who are being uh, taken down. And, and that's the problem. If you bring up your kid, telling them, even look at tribalism, for example. Mm -hmm. There's some people who hate some, some tribes. And if you ask them why, they do not know. They'll give you very weak... Uh, very weak uh, excuses, reasons. Reasons that you can say, this is not a reason, it's just an excuse you get. Mm -hmm. So if you speak to many Kenyan fans yeah. and ask them, why don't you love Kenyan music? They'll start saying, oh, you see these lyrics, and you ask them, have you listened to Banner Boy word to word? It is the same things. Have you listened to Chibudi word to word? Have you listened to Americans, Jamaicans word to word? They speak the same thing. People from the reggaeton side. Mm -hmm. So. Or anything they'll tell you is it's not a reason yeah. but most of the time the fans it's not the blame is not on them like the big but it's the people who present the music to them yeah. I think they have a lot of power and for a long time they didn't use it well and now we are seeing the effects of of that these are things that took like 10 years to we, we took like 10 years to get here it didn't yeah. just happen you get 10 years ago that was 2012 we used to have very big events like chago latinese where guys would go crazy over yeah. kenyan artists mm -hmm. you get 10 years later we don't even have gra you see things like chago latinese they used to go to the grassroots and show the people in high school that kenyan music is dope so somebody like major w would go to high schools every weekend mm -hmm. and that plays a big role 
in 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 growing the fan base so all these guys came out knowing major is the ish and yeah. this so nowadays we have few of that you get because this was to be high school a high school, mm-hmm. it's not even campo. Now it's more campo, but high school, they are younger, so they're more likely to, to take in more. You get so it it didn't just happen. It has taken ten to fifteen years for us to be in this trouble we are in. Yeah. I, I there's a day I was I was on Twitter and I saw this rapper, very big rapper from Nigeria. What is his name? YC. Mm-hmm. So YC tweeted. I remember when Nigerians used to hit on Nigerian music. And then I used to look at the comments. Everybody will say, I remember I was one of those people who used to say Nigerian music is trash. Like we are going through exactly what these guys went through. It's not unique. Because if Nigerians are saying they went through what the phase we are going, because now people think it's cool to trash Kenyan music, right? There are people who think if they trash Kenyan music, they they are like there are people in the comments saying exactly the same thing. You can even look it up. You will it will you as people on radio you you will get some few pointers on but nigerians were saying the same thing so many it has thousands it has thousands of uh comments on people just saying they used to be that person who used to trash but now they cannot play any other music wow. you get so i guess it's just it's about time and when once the time comes for kenyan music it will be time. So let's listen to one of your biggest collaborative po- projects. And mm-hmm. while I, this thing, this, this one was big. <laughs> okay, so there's, there's something, I don't know. I, I, I'm not one of those people who make comparisons. But I don't know. I, I cannot, for the life of me, decide which one was a bigger collaborative project. The reverse remix mm-hmm. or Weekend. But then I know all of you are writing for Weekend in Ayon Touch as a car motion because you gotta stay here. <laughs> Right one time to the left, then pause. Hmm, turn the reverse. Turn the reverse. Turn the reverse. Can you go on me? Bounce with me, mommy. Pause. Turn the reverse. Turn the reverse. Tuna reverse Reverse ni kipiga lazma kahaga kabonsu kini suka ndio ni jipe kwa na ganji siyo clout Bendera na iza pandisha ni liku wanga scout Tuna ni dai jitete usizungu kera unabautai Mimi sinafujo nani Dogo dogo reverse yani Piga dry dry chesa yani Ratish nguwai choma ubani Tuende reverse kama mtotana Kwanza vile umebeba we ni totiana Ina mabasi tukipatiana Juhu hizo tu Da zime ni bamba Ay, Magigi magaga Magigi gigi gigi Msupa we dada Una vitu bigi bigi Magigi magaga Magigi gigi gigi Msupa we dada Una vitu bigi bigi Step to the right one time To the left then pause Hmm Turn the reverse Turn the reverse Turn the reverse Can you call me? Bounce with me mommy Pause do not reverse Do not reverse Do not reverse We reverse me na cheki nyuma Iki kwama tutasukuma Uki gonga kitu usipige break Endelea ku reverse na mawiti te Ako kadem kame come through Na yo dress ya ke see through Itabidi ni me save ganji Do after ku reverse ni maternity Izo mahaga vile unarombosa Ako kamini kana songa songa Ako kathae mina ona ona After ku reverse nita onza onza Oya oya Step to the right one time to the left then pause Oku wanko Turn the reverse Turn the reverse Turn the reverse Kanya galami Bounce with me mommy Pause Do not reverse Do not reverse Do not reverse 
Kuzo swara mini king wa jungle Jungle D Sai ni ko fishing Fishing kai retu seza meru 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 deli wako jing na majong Jong ni uding jing mong Dimong ali chapa sama on You and beyond Na doni eng Na uskose pia bolo yen Kudush madi kwa kadush Kwa diro oku kwa ema dan Kingdom like a washa kitu Luchi na manzele to reverse Step to the right one time to the left then pose Hmm, turn the reverse Turn the reverse Turn the reverse Can you go law me? Bounce with me mommy Pose Do not reverse Do not reverse Do not reverse Reverse the remix right there. Pray it here, radio two four four exactly five one fifty one minutes past four. Uh, four. <laughs> past five p.m. East African time. This is the two five four drive. You're still chilling with me, Gikosh, the captain, alongside Wangashi. And in the building, we have the one and only. <laughs> Mhm mhm you are the luchi so let's talk about gengeton yeah, and uh, there's this story oh gengeton is dead so he died long time ago it was buried somewhere i don't know where mm. i would love to hear like your view on it do you feel like gengeton is dead or where do you think gengeton artist went wrong if there's somewhere they went uh, first of all i think gengeton is evolving mm-hmm. it's not really dead but it's evolving yeah. and uh uh so hata wale watu walipigania uhuru wengine wao ku enjoy so it might be that you know i don't know everything but so many of the artists who brought in the wave we are not hearing them sindio yeah. which is not a cool thing because uh, we wish they could have enjoyed the fruits of of their labor uh but this thing of again we are just killing our people uh, thinking it's cool that, that trashing our music is 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 just killing our people because as much as you might tell people okay we 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 should not care about what people say but people we are human beings we we care if you tell me i'm doing a good job i will be motivated if you tell me my music is trash i will not be motivated you get um and and that's a, a thing that we can't ignore we are human beings and uh, positive uh, criticism goes a long way also most of this gengeton guys ni wasei wa mtao unacheki ni wasei wa ghetto and walikuwa tuna do good music and something worked out you get so most of them didn't have direction and and from our experience as the luchi because we for us luckily we had some knowledge of the industry so we took a lot of time to strategize on how to even get in we did not just start it took us a whole year to plan so these other guys unfortunately they did not know anything you see people out here think just okay i'll release a song and if it's a hit i'll be famous mm-hmm. and my life is it's not that mm-hmm. most of them had a hit and problems always start whenever you have a big song there's a lot of pressure that comes with having a big song now everybody is your is your what do you call it advisor you get mm-hmm. everybody knows everything and it ha- your best friends all of a sudden now they are music business experts and it, it i'm sure some of them went through this they just got bad advice and those who didn't get advice they did not know they made bad moves mm. you get because uh, this business of music is very complicated a lot like it's very complicated there's so many things people don't understand even musicians who are big some of them still don't understand how this business actually works the intestines of of this business it's just like any other business mm. so you need to understand your business many musicians do not understand the business of music so that affects an industry because if the the high rising stars 
don't understand mm. and nobody is coming to to hold them or the few people who are holding is just to take advantage because that has also happened some people were coming up really well they ended up signing bad deals and 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 things happen so it's a sad thing because these are not like all the people yeah. like the most of these guys are in their 20s so that was just them starting so they deserve to be enjoying the fruits unfortunately that that's not how life works mm -hmm. life is is not fair it's only the people who fight who will, will get out successful so they played a big role people yeah. like me came through because of them who motivated us you get you get some of the people who are doing well now are motivated by these guys we were like okay it's working let's try it now so it's sad it's it's i can't be here celebrating the fall of of some of these guys when we see online they're broke uh, i wish i was rich but i'm not i can't do anything but it's it's not a good vibe you get and anytime you go to twitter is where now everybody just they just hate on our people every day <laughs> every day they're hating and and when you go to the comments you just realize you just these guys don't even understand how music works you'll find people saying the kenyan artists are not creative that's a very bad reason you get kenyan artists are just like any other artists from the world people are creative i will, I will not say here kenyans are more creative than other people yeah. also these other people are not more creative than us it's just the mentality and sometimes the resources because now nigerians have resources Resources. and that goes a long way you get mm. yes i was thinking the other day nigeria has so many big stars right now who are new True. most of them are in the early 20s 19 20 21 mm. our new artists are <laughs> all above 25 yeah all all our new big artists are all about so you see those kinds of things there are no people who hold uh, artists hands and and bring them up you get so cause that mentorship cause, look at ira star mm -hmm. uh she's being mentored by don jazzy you get mm -hmm. people like rema fireball all these guys have come up in the in the past few two three years asake is really killing it okay how, how many big new artists do we have just think about it now just think about kenya now how how many big artists we have that are new don't talk about sauti soul or, or nyash and those are people who have been in the industry for too long so now new guys at the level or ira star we don't we don't have you know it's crazy right now as you were saying that i thought about it and like everybody who came to my mind mm. is somebody who is just as young but their style of of music is not very kenyan yeah, yeah yes you see and they have like we are, we have given them the space mm -hmm. to exist in kenya without <laughs> being kenyan mm -hmm. makes me so mad who? Who, who, who come again i've thought of um so i sat down and like these are people who are making good music i can't see the music yeah and they are kenyans they are kenyans mm -hmm. think about iana kiragu her mm -hmm. music is so good mm -hmm. but she doesn't sound kenyan at all For you sure. listen to her music and you're like ah she's kenyan think about Caleb Awiti he makes very good music but then you don't know that he is actually Kenyan but think is that a good Maya. thing or a bad thing I don't I feel like there's nothing it's okay to be adaptable but there's nothing about not embracing who you are that is attractive at all you can make good music exactly. but if i don't feel the character through it it's like exactly so for me i know so many young musicians mm -hmm. uh, also Murugi here always tries to get me on this guys <laughs> yeah but she knows now by now she knows uh -huh. the moment somebody doesn't i cannot tell you're kenyan mm -hmm. i'm not vibing mm -hmm. How, however dope that song is yeah. if i cannot tell you're kenyan i am not vibing with you it's because again we now even her she understands music properly for for you to make it in our country with music generally in africa you have to have an identity of your country you have to and then now go back to look at our biggest artists who are they in kenya 
right now. Sauti so? Off the top of my head. Nyashinsky, Calligraph, mm-hmm. Otile, Willie Paul, Bahati. Who sounds American apart from Calligraph? Who is a very unique person? So you can't rate him like other people who are trying to sound American. He is very unique in his own way. All these guys are the most popular artists in our country. How do they sound? You get the sound. If you listen to them, if you went to the US and you had, had a Nishinsky song that you have never heard, you would know he is Kenyan if you didn't know him. Some of our young guys were coming up, they are vibing in an American way, and then we are not connecting. Remember, art, if it does not connect and relate, it will be so hard. And that's why most of our alternative artists uh, struggle and then they blame the media. You get, you get, we, we could try and make sure your song is being played in Bungoma and people are catching a vibe, you get, and then you feel, that's why vernacular artists will always kill it. They connect immediately. Whether you, if you are Kisi and you hear a dope Kisi song, you will not, how, even if you are the coolest kid, as long as you, you, you really connect with your people, you will vibe to it. The other day, a Luya song was killing it on TikTok. You get? Yeah. And that's what people were vibing to it. We showed it love so too, too much that even people who are not Luya were vibing to it. That's the power of supporting Kenyan music. We just have to show guys this is the cool thing. Yeah. If guys can vibe to a Luya song the way they did, they made that song a hit. Yeah, because think about, like, um, what is this song? Um, the one Ted Josiah produced. Like, he's the only... Atoti. 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 Think get. about 20 years later, mm. this song is bigger than it ever so was. So it means we can. We just don't, do not want to. Kenyan fans, as long as it's good music, so we cannot blame the fans. They are not the problem. They are just responding to what they are fed. Yeah. You get. If we feed them this type of vibe they will consume it as long as it's good music i'm not here trying to say everybody <laughs> now produce. no some of our music is not good yeah. Yeah. but there's so many people who are not trying to be american but they are really doing music which you hear you yeah you hear some music and you're like you even hate your country because this should be a superstar because yeah. they are getting everything right they have sung maybe in swahili or sheng even if it's English, they've mixed it up. Mm-hmm. The lyrics are right. Video is dope. Yeah. You get. And then you're like, now what do people want? So let me ask you a question. Would you fault an upcoming artist for trying the only way they think, like the only way that they have seen leads to success? Would you fault a young upcoming artist for that? Which, which, which is that? Like, for example, um, when you talk about also, again, alternative artists, there's people who have fused a couple of genres that are barely Kenyan. Mm. They are barely Kenyan. But they feel like, I am an artist, I want to put out music. This is the only way I have seen that has mm. been successful. So would you fault a Kenyan, a young upcoming artist for deciding I want to do R&B and it is not going to sound Kenyan, it is going to sound like who I have been listening to growing up. Yeah, that is good on paper, Mm -hmm. but now let's come to reality. Mm -hmm. How many superstars, R&B superstars do we have in Kenya? Um, I could think about Nikita. Yes. Maya Amolo is also doing so good. Yes, but how many people know Maya Amolo? Not a lot, by the way. When how you many think people about even know Nikita? Do you know why we know Nikita? Because yeah. we are in the industry. Mm. You get. We should not forget this thing is bigger than us, not yeah. just our circle. We always judge with our circle. Mm. Go to Kayole and ask people who is Nikita. Mm-hmm. They do not know. You get. Who yeah. is Maya? They do not know. You get. Somebody in the industry told me, Years back, when I was I was a singer, years back, <laughs> before I, I was trashed by the... So, <laughs> so yes. they do know you, they just don't know you. <laughs> yes, they do not know me. So yeah. I, I asked, this was a very big artist, mm-hmm. like seven years ago. They asked me a question. They I played them my song, and they were mm-hmm. like, hmm, hmm, and they asked me a question. Who do you want to be like in our Kenyan industry? Uh, just like everybody I said, Saudi soul. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does this song even sound close to Saudi soul? Even close. 
Does it even have elements that will get you that kind of fan base? They ask me those questions. If you want to be like Diamond or Saudi Soul or a big artist in Kenya, you have to look at what the other big artists in Kenya are doing. You cannot come to Kenya and sing techno and want to be like Diamond Platinums. It's not realistic. You get, you have to look at your environment. All businesses depend on environment. A good business in Kenya is not a good business in the US. Mm. You get, business goes with need. You get, yeah. if Uber was brought to Kenya 20 years ago, it wouldn't have succeeded. Because at that time, we didn't even have internet. Taxis were for rich people. You get, so these young artists, I cannot hate on them because they don't know. I would advise. Mm. I would advise them. Most of them never listen. Uh, whenever I talk to young artists, and mm. again, you can't hate them. You see people, artists are very funny. They always think, we always think we know. And we think with our hearts. We forget being famous, apart from a few people who became famous by luck, it is, you have to strategize. Mm -hmm. That's why education is important. You don't just become famous if you're intentional. You have to, that's why people have PR teams. That is you strategizing. So this, most of our alternative artists, want to be superstars but they have not to look at our environment to see the kind of superstars we have let's even get out of kenya in africa we have superstars how do they sound none of them is an r b artist none of our biggest artists is a rapper like seriously and we are talking about people like uh bana with kid, there's a way they sound. They yeah. almost rap, sing. They they don't go hardcore. Yeah. So it will be a big lie to me to tell an artist who's coming up, hardcore will work. It's I'm not, I'm not seeing it. A few in life, there's a few people who will make it with a different opinion. That's why I told you you can't compare calligraphy with these other guys. You will always have those very unique situations, like people like calligraph and CC coming up. Yeah. But to lie to everybody that that strategy will work, it will be a big lie. Then, you get? Yeah, like, but then even with calligraph, I don't think you can ever take Kenyanness out of calligraph. Exactly. He will throw it, yeah. sub. Exactly. He will force you to understand. And, and that's why anytime I'm talking to a rapper who is trying to sing like calligraph, that is what they don't understand. Calligraph connects with people from Islando the way many people cannot. You get? But now, guys from maybe you've grown up in kile and you want to sound like those guys mm. realistically kenyan is is kind of a ghetto people country most people are people from islando in nairobi even if you go ocha now ocha is worse how can you rap to somebody from kisi in 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 when you get yeah and this is the majority rich kids are not the majority yeah, that's true. you get so you want to be like a certain artist but you're not appealing to the majority of the people it doesn't make you a bad artist you are just have to change your strategy and it might work because a small tweak can change so many things you get a small very small tweak can change so many things so it's not shitting on anybody but uh, in person my other life i'm a businessman i'm always just looking at reality and and what i wish so if it was wishes, I would wish uh, people like Maya to have the biggest song ever because she's a musician mm -hmm. and I love art and music. Yeah. But now let's come to the real world. Kenya, we know how, how Kenyans are. Mo majority of us are people of Islando. They're more likely to, to vibe to a certain thing. Mm. You get. Why do you think dancehall music was so big in Kenya? Because people relate with what they are saying, mm -hmm. you get. Rich kids did not, but that didn't stop so many of those guys from coming here every time before Niger took over. Those were the guys who were here. Yeah. You guys remember? Yeah. It was always Jamaican artists after, or reggae artists. Yeah, and even if you stop them, if even if conscience decides to suddenly come at the end of this year, mm. Believe you me, people will still turn up. You see, people will still turn they up. still relate with him. Because, let me tell you why. Because most N Jamaican artists don't. Have you seen them trying to be rich? The, the rich kind of vibe. 
No. They don't do that. They have money, but they don't do that. Kenyans or Africans relate to that more than somebody who is saying they have Lamborghinis. And we will like it from an American artist. But if you do the same here, people probably know you don't have those things. So yeah. you're not being honest. You don't have those things. So you can't tell me uh, you're buying a million dollar car. You may drop your door. <laughs> you get. And then it's in. And guys are, guys are not stupid. People are not stupid. They feel the authenticity. Yeah. So we can tell if Lil Wayne or Drake says he has a private jet. We can tell. Or Rihanna, mm -hmm. and then what uh, the Luigi here says, I have a prayer. You guys are like, What is this guy saying? It is not sincere. Mm -hmm. Jamaicans are here telling you the way somebody slept hungry or them, them are cool affair. Una relate immediately, una connect, mm -hmm. yeah. And you know why Nigerians are killing you because we, we understand they speak our language, yeah. If you listen to most of the time, they speak about the kawaii things. Our guys here will be speaking about things that don't we don't experience. They were popping as, Siju pills, mind you, don't even have the yes. money for it. Yeah. Somebody, the gun on somebody has, has good music, one. like their song is really dope, well produced, good video. But they are calling money Benjamins. You see, yeah. those kinds of things personally they turn me off. I will not listen to your music because you're you're trying to be somebody else. You cannot call your money Benjamins. Hanids. Hanids. Yeah. Say like hundreds because that's how the Kenyans we speak like that. Yeah. You get. And I might not know you, but I'll connect. So this, I wish you guys knew. You There's a time I was in Germany mm -hmm. and I was speaking English. I was going to, to, to the DJ booth. And I, I spoke to them in Swahili. And the moment they started speaking, I knew these are our people. And I switched off immediately. Mm -hmm. Kenyan. Yeah, they, if they were speaking in a wang, I would never know they're Kenyan, but they just spoke their Kawaida English. And I'm like, shit, the DJs here are Kenyans, so let's go, shame. Uh -huh. You get, and oh, immediately connection, and we are friends now. You get, and that is the thing, authenticity will always sell, it will bring connection. So on our side as artists, I think we have to connect language and how, just we have to connect, you get. Yeah. Yes. And as you continue to talk, I want you guys to listen to the big... This song is big, guys. And because I love you guys so much, I may or may not play it for you guys twice. <laughs> and so speaking of anthems, this is We Candy. Today is a Friday, so let's get this party started. Get it. Let's get it. We <laughs> Candy, It's a weekend. It is a weekend. The same man, it's the same man. I'm a pippin' Nikki Sema, Mutani Sema. The Luchi Mini Sammy, I'm a pippin' Nikki Sema, Mutani Sema. Kashereka Nashika, Manganya Paradida, Kokona Kuna Vilema, Odi Wana Shikisha, Manguna Wana Pita, Uziriza Uziza, Nacheki Kokona Yakuza, Akona Aziza, Pose. Flowny Motor Odia. Vinya di Kone Pipa, Timore Amefika, Namona Nikita, Ake Pigama Chikita. Anashikisha, what you wanna katika? Hukuni kuna ma weekend isi tuna kani cho.
Sina chubamba Sina 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 Sina chubamba
Turn the right one stay Turn the left one stay Do the walk one two time Turn around don't say Turn the right one stay Turn the left one stay Step back one two time Turn around don't say Pass to a camp Kula sheri he man ni tam Tana mboki wote ni fam Pume inki ya ni matata Bad vibes zote tuwa kanyata Kama ni drinks pata pata Hakuna hasira papa hapa Vibes iko tuu tunakatika Kuna tunakatika wengine wametingika Wame wametingika ma drinks ina magika Jenga sina magika na mboke ina bambika Turn the right one stay Turn the left one stay Hey yo guys, so for a minute that we may or may not have forgotten you because I don't know, we are, we're having nice conversations in here. Anyway, we are back, it is exactly 22 minutes two past 6 p.m. And we may or may not be about to close the show, but before that... We did listen to Weekendy. Weekendy. And you want to like hear the story behind Weekendy, how it came to life and how we came to work with the man himself, Savara. Yeah. Yeah. So... <laughs> Weekend is a is a is a is a is a that song has been in the in the kitchen for a while. Mm. So what happened? So there's a time we lost all our music, uh, one TB worth of music, mm. and that is if you notice between the, this release and the last release, it's so many months. Mm. It's because all our music got lost. <laughs> So for a while, we were stressed out and we did not know what to do. We tried doing recovery uh, of, of, the, of the, the drive. We were unsuccessful. So we, we just had to accept that it is what it is. It is what it is. You get. Yeah. So when finally the team is in the headspace to now start creating, that is the first beat we made. That beat for Weekendi. And the inspiration was very simple. We were listening to Ah uh, Fitness. Mm -hmm. na, 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 na. So we are thinking, Kenyans are really singing this song like yeah. how can we make a happy song like this but with a Kenyan vibe so that it's our own? And if you listen to that pre chorus and chorus, it's just simple words just of of happiness. Monday yeah. Usini call. Tuesday, PRC call. Ni dungi e ikifika Friday. Uni ulize. Kwani uko. Jule uni weekend. So it's just vibe. We were just for like a vibe. Like, let's create something like this. You get. For Kenya. Okay, the beat is made. We are kind of happy. Because <laughs> it still sounds terrible. Yeah. No, we want. We are thinking, let's let's collaborate with somebody. Yeah. Hey, we struggled. <laughs> And it made us think, probably, oh, again, have you ever looked at um, piano songs? They, this, those songs always have like five <laughs> artists. There's always so many names. It's DJs and vocalists. <laughs> always, and so we, we, were try, we are trying that, you get? Because yeah. the Luchi, uh, the way we designed this is, was to just be alone. But we are like, okay, let's try work with people. So we tried, and Murugi was out here trying to talk to people, and they just, she suffered. Yeah, basically, she suffered, you get? Mm -hmm. And a few people didn't like the vibe in that song. A few musicians who we thought would fit in were like, mm, this, this vibe, uh-uh. Then one day, 
uh, one day we are trying to get to this artist and uh, uh, she is with the uh, Savara of Saudi Soul and Savara is a good friend of this artist. So Murugi is like, Yo, so we are trying to get this song to this artist. Uh, please listen to it and then now you tell them how good it is so that <laughs> <laughs> so that he uh, can jump in because Savara is Saudi Soul. If he recommends, probably it will happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we play the song, and then the song, he really likes it, he's like, ah, ah, do this, we'll play it again. It ends second time, do, ah, play it again, play it again, mm -hmm. play it again. And then he starts singing, he starts singing. He's like, you guys, so your plan is to make sure I'm not part of good things, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Yeah. Studio immediately. So I'm called, yo, guys, studio all night and, and, and record the song. You get. So, and we were, we were not even trying to get Savara. It just happened because he loved the song, which, again, that's what we are all about. We are not trying to, to do all these things. We just want people to love the music mm -hmm. and then connect. Like, it was the most, uh, how can I say, authentic, not planned. We didn't sit down and say we want Savara on this song. Yeah. You get. Because we had suffered even just to get an artist on this song. So, Savara came through. Yeah. We did a lot of writing that night, and he he dropped a really cool verse which added value to the song because that song was actually complete. We had to remove a verse so that Savara comes in, but I think it was for the better because I think I, I know about you, but I think he did a good job. He, did. he really came he did. through, and uh, yeah, uh, we now we leave it to you guys, and of course, you guys are already showing love to the song. Mm -hmm. Hope, hopefully, we're gonna get people from the downtown and the uptown vibing to this song because this is again the inspiration was to make a kenyan vibe of what nigerians were doing not uh an islando vibe you get a kenyan vibe yani when we it's friday this is the song mm. you get that was the motivation just to create a kenyan vibe to for like we are we are, we are looking at well, these guys are succeeding with this vibe can you try it but make it kenyan Kenya. yeah yeah, so people in the U.S. are like, this is our song, you guys, you Nigeria, this is also ours. And uh, it will feel nice, so I hope you guys are feeling the Kenyanness also, yeah. but not uh, uh, taking away the quality you get. Quality is there, and then the, the, the source is also there. Yeah, because if you ask me right now, the biggest songs in Kenya right now are Rikendi and Kuna Kuna. And I'm not just saying that yeah. because mm. you're here, mm. I'm saying it yeah. because it is actually true. Mm. When you even when you look at charts and even most requested songs, mm. it's first of all from people who understand music. There's first of all already the weekend challenge and there's the Kuna Kuna challenge. And so when nowadays it's almost like if something becomes big on TikTok, trust it you me, big. it is yeah. big. Mm. If it's big on TikTok, it is actually big. And I'm not just saying that because you're here. It is because the songs are actually big. big, big. So if you ask me, you guys did actually get what you wanted. So yeah, we you give, do have give thanks uh -huh. and uh, uh, us also. We really we are really vibing with Kuna Kuna. It's a really dope song. Yeah, and it's it's a song that makes Kenya look good. It's it sounds good. You get. Yeah, it sounds good. We have seen it being played in places where there's not Kenyans, white people, and they are vibing. Yeah. yeah, so we don't have excuses that Kenyans are not giving good music. And it's not only those two songs. Like this week, so many songs have been released from Kenyan musicians. Yeah. We yeah. don't have excuses. People have been dropping music. I have, I have, I'm not sure how, how many people this weekend have dropped Kenyan, like Kenyan, so Kenyan music. No, like people have dropped music, um, but I can't name like five artists who have dropped Kenyan, Kenyan ah, music. You get, uh, yeah. Because I think one of the biggest releases that I have felt like had a mix of both Kenya and other influences mm -hmm. is Ethan Muziki's album, yeah. um, yeah. Ethan All Fire. Like it felt like it's, it's ours. It is married with other things, but then there's also songs you listen to, like Sema. Mm -hmm. You sit down and you're like, yeah, this is actually a Kenyan love story. Yeah. So I feel, yeah, I feel like we are 
headed towards making the industry yeah, authenticity will, will will make us stand out for sure yeah. like authenticity and then quality i think that's where we should head mm-hmm. if we try to copy these guys we will not beat them yeah. we will not beat them we will only beat them at being kenyan so we find what's cool about being kenyan amplify it mm-hmm. i think that's the only way yeah the luchi as much as we are looking to make him an international brand mm. he must always keep it kenyan because that's the only way these guys will not beat him yeah. the moment he tries to to sing like nigerians or south africans it will be so easy to to beat him okay and so let me ask are we going to get like uh, after weekend are we going to get another like a I don't know a part project kind of like an EP or or an album because you haven't seen a lot of that in the Gangetoon space. Mm. So I I really ever or unataka tuna tuna tukimali tuki once we wear this one out una tupengine. Yeah we tungependa tu pengine tulipishe Remember when we lost that hard drive? Mm-hmm. We lost a lot of music so we are trying to compensate cuz some people who are not connected to us might think we are jokers because you can't release a song in march then the next song is in october, october. or september you're not serious mm-hmm. but they wouldn't understand you get mm-hmm. one tb is a lot of music yeah. a lot of music. <laughs> a lot of music yes one one song is like 50 mb or 100 mb now think about uh, one tb sure. what so yeah. we're trying to to show our fans we are so we are we're about to be releasing a couple of songs and then probably we're going to do exactly what you're saying a, a body of work mm-hmm. just now to express because now the body of work will now express even more things like we'll not even be trying to just do hit songs sometimes we just want to do a good song that yeah. somebody can release just can listen to not only just hit songs maybe one two hit songs but the rest is now expressing now mm-hmm. you get can the luchi sing can 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 they hit them vocals mm-hmm which yes <laughs> we have heard we, will you do something for us here vocals no, yeah no, kidogo no. okay 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 kona homa kona homa but your time stack on a homa okay yeah we lost some really really good music like really good music mm-hmm. yes wow. well i we at least the fact that you said you guys have been in recovery is at least gives us hope yeah now the By the time we decided to release we can do we were mentally we are back so there's already even now we are already working on a lot of music mm-hmm. you mentioned brandy we are supposed to link up and do something yeah and that should be crazy because she's she's not playing let me take she's not playing i i do <laughs> i have said this so many times but every female musician if you're looking to be a strategist yeah. don't just listen to brandy mm. study her for sure so, she is a strategist while yeah, i want yes. to to link up with people like that mm-hmm. who have started getting it right you get so because yeah. brandy is coming up really well we are coming up really well i know if we collaborate we can do something really dope mm-hmm. and make kenya dance like crazy okay And so as we conclude Gikosh has a question that he likes to ask every single artist. Yeah sure. So I would love to know what is that one thing that you love the Luchi to be remembered for? Creativity. 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 Because that is something you guys will never forget. That's true. Yeah, just That's creativity true. and pushing pushing the boundaries. Amazing. Yeah so plug people to your music your socials where they can find you all of that So the Luchi is online at the Luchi star everywhere mm-hmm. the Luchi star everywhere Okay yeah. so just pull up there uh, join the weekend challenge men sure. we're about to have the biggest song in the country and we you want to be sure. part of that yeah. we, we we weekend is a, is a vibe is is a very easy just chill. guys mm-hmm. stop playing man stop playing by so. the way ni kona swali has your ex jumped on this one ah you very such sana i'm a i'm a i'm watching she, she probably will. she will okay ukosho has suspect i have a suspicion of tomesema already kunipata mimi yeye liko in the group akona test 
So <laughs> hii hapa ataja kaa iko na ile test bado niliwacha hayo. Tamuona tu hapo. Lakini unajua pia the fact that amko pamoja na hizo kuna kitu alipoteza but if she has made videos to it. Eh labda ni lose test. Wewe msemi ile labda. Wah. Ako chini. Hi. But I hope she does. Uh, she's she's a good person it's not like she's an evil person yeah. so she should jump on it mm-hmm. and uh, continue not knowing that it is me <laughs> so if you are out there and you suspect that your ex is the luchi just find it a you. tiktok find a dunia where we find a tiktok yeah. nini ni niko na ex moja so <laughs> lakini ya juu yeye ndio ex peke so <laughs> so nyinyi wote wenye mnafikiria wenye wanashuku eh yeah. ni bwawe yeah. so um yeah you've plugged us to your socials um on DSPs the luchi still the luchi the luchi is uh, that's my official name if you go on spotify itunes it's just the luchi okay yes Okay, so I'm going to play you guys weekend again. No. You know? Yeah, and also because just in case you know una skiz out. This is like your your nini your sign to make that TikTok. Also guys, before we go off, I want to remind you guys, um Jody Fanetto's music was taken off DSPs a couple of weeks ago, but it's a good day in music land because his music is back on DSPs. So continue streaming Jody Fanetto We can be by the Luchi featuring Savara. Thank 
Jingisha, Jatisha, Jingisha, hey, Romosa, Jingisha, Jatisha, Jingisha, oh, Babola, hey, Babola, hey, Babola, hey, Turn around, hey, turn it up, hey, put it up, the one. Let me see you wine and take it up. Take it up, get yeah, take it up. Get the money, come up, I'm a big shot. Go shot up, pull it, yeah, I'll pay the car. Get the money, come up, when it's a big car. Hop on the commoto, sissy, had to charge. Kuna had to pick on the come up, a charge. Sit on the channel, sissy, had to lie. Come, come, hmm, nigga, shop, hmm. Fill on a rumble, so when the ham, ham, hmm. Mamonic, hmm, story, hmm. What the lick in a beer, what you win it?